Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Theme Park Tycoon 2. I know it has been a while. Um I was been working um on some other big projects, but we are now back and ready to get some more building going. So off camera, I built all of these rocks, did a little um, thing above the track here, and um, that's pretty much it. Um, but today, we are going to be working in this area, trying to make this part of the coaster look real nice. So um, let's get started with some terrain. So I kind of want to start this one off as like a giant spiky uh, pillar in the middle of this. So I'm going to try to terraform that now. So uh, now we have this um, structure here, so I say we start placing down some rocks. And the great thing about this is that we can, uh, we can now scale up these rocks and make them look nice and big. And so we don't have to do so much work now. Now for this side, I'm going to get some, uh, some primitives and we're just going to um, scale them to make them a little bit more taller. And then in this side, which is more steep, we can have taller rocks. We also should probably texture these rocks, so I'm going to go into the painter, and I'm going to pick a one of the new materials, actually, that they have added, like maybe some sandstone, limestone. Um, I'm just going to go with the default rock color, but uh, um, we will probably change it eventually. I think basalt looks good um, for this part of the mountain. Alright guys, so now we have this um, beautiful kind of ragged mound, and I want to color this as like kind of a gradient. So I want it to start um, dark and then get um, lighter at the top, so um, uh, let's just do that now. So for the bottom, um, we're going to do limestone and this little black-ish tone, and then of course it will begin to um, s slowly get lighter from here and oh now oh now that i look at it from afar that looks so good <laughs> i love it i think we should try texturing some of these rocks as well sort of like this but maybe without the gradient and just like that i think that adds so much more detail to the park with this new advanced color system i like it so much more this mound right here has inspired me and i added so many tones to this but i think this looks pretty good and oh i think i forgot to do this part so um i'm gonna do this real quick so basically all i did i changed um the the, the tint of rock just a little um just like that and then i just paint in some areas and i think this looks good with this with this pass it makes it so much easier to make things uh, look cooler more realistic and I, I just like I just like the way that they're updating the game it's this is amazing now since this area is kind of like mystical and magical I kind of want to add a tower like a wizard or kind of like yeah like a wizard tower on this mound so um, I'm gonna get some primitives and start on it so we have a nice little base here, and I think it should be some sort of <clears throat> some like brick, I guess. Let's see, maybe um, cobblestone. Uh, yeah, I think that'll. So right here, I'm gonna add like a little platform where the um, you like walk into the tower, I guess, and then we'll put some supports down here. We will also extend these poles down, and then finally, I will paint uh, this balcony. With these new colors, it's actually really easy to make um, oh, some gradients, and that's exactly what I did with these poles down here. Um, but now, on the balcony, we should probably place some props and uh, a door. So I have made this little archway over the door, and I think I want it to become... Maybe... I'm not sure. Let's pick one of these newer textures, like limestone. Let's see how that looks. So let's get one of these, and let's... Uh, Mm, okay, maybe maybe not limestone. Maybe a different like maybe asphalt. Let's check that out. Okay, that's a little a little dark for my uh, for my liking. Maybe basalt will look better. 
yes, I actually like that. Um, I am gonna turn, uh, make this a little bit brighter though, so we can do that. And there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. And of course, we cannot forget our props. And finally, we cannot forget the roof. And then finally, guys, we can paint it all. Ooh, yes, that is so satisfying. If we just go around and, oh, did not, did not mean to uh, paint that down there. So let me undo. But there it is. The wizard tower looks really good from right here. And I like it on this mound. And I think overall it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go over here and take a, a good look at it. Oh, yes. From down here, that wizard tower is looking really tall and really cool also. So that looks good. Now let's move on to a couple more things. And finally for today, I think um <clears throat> I think I'm going to put some bushes, some some scenery just in this area, maybe even do a little bit over here and just make it look a little bit nicer. So we're going to start off with um some trees because um they're pretty easy and also We've made them bigger with the scale tool. The scale tool, it's, it's just so helpful. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get to it. I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna add a, whoa, the camera. Uh, oh my god. Um, I'm gonna add a, jeez, it is so hard to navigate, but, uh, <laughs> sorry about that. Um, let's try and get up here, and, hoot, oh, uh, hoot. So, um, I, I'm gonna add a water tower here, and then we are... And that is pretty much everything that I have for today's episode. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded, but I'll try to upload uh, this series more frequently. Anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Um, we made some good progress today. Uh, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you do enjoy this content. And um, I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.